Good morning! <laughs> I'm Omar Tomazzoni, principal trumpet of the Royal Concertgebouw Orchestra since uh, 2013. Well, the importance of this concerto is that it's one of the greatest composers of the last uh, decades that actually composed an original piece for our rap, for, for trumpet, for our instrument. We don't have such a big repertoire, so knowing and uh, having any Morricone uh, trumpet concerto in our repertoire, I think is very, very important that people know it. And uh, this Ennio Morricone, I knew him personally, so I feel a special connection to this piece and I'm um, very, very happy to give a new life to this piece. <laughs> Ut means uh, C, means Do, like uh, the one of the notes, you know, and also the trumpet that I play is in C, so it's in Ut, and that's uh, actually the title of the piece. It starts with a lot of uh, virtuosity, technique, kind of a stress energy, and then slowly, slowly it gets, you know, more relaxed, more relaxed, and then you enter in this kind of dreamy feeling, dreamy situation, like a remembrance of something, you know, and then everything gets as far as possible, no, so distant. The energy of the piece in general is really, really interesting, really cool, really beautiful. And also the formation of like the ensemble, what he made, you know, it's like strings, trumpet, timpani and gran cassa. You know, it's also a bit strange, no? Yes, it's quite tricky to keep the tempo. It is. What I was thinking to suggest, because I, I was thinking to make the solfeggio of your your thing, but it's so complicated. To, but what about if you just can do rubato between those measures, yeah. but if I kind of be steady? Yes. Maybe it works that way. Yeah. <laughs> Morricone was a trumpet player himself, and the father was also a trumpet player, which is also mentioned in the, in the reasons why actually Ennio Morricone wrote this concerto. Would you play from here? Sure. Just Absolutely. <laughs> Good. Fantastic. This is going to be fantastic. Well, I feel proud and uh, very happy that I can perform Ut here in Concertgebouw. And I'm very proud to do with my fantastic orchestra, of course. I'm also very happy to play this piece because I know Morricone's frustration, uh, which was that uh, everybody that were playing his fantastic film music, but the, the absolute music, as he was used to call this kind of composition, was not performed as much as he would have loved to. And this is, yeah, something that makes me very happy to do. Well, I'm pretty sure that the audience will be surprised at the beginning. Many, many of the, of the people that come to the concert will not expect to hear this kind of music from any Morricone. So it will be a bit of shock in the beginning, so I don't know how they will react. But I hope, I hope and I think that at the end they will realize how beautiful and how deep is this, uh, this piece of music and they will actually enjoy and be happy that they actually discovered something. Oh, wow. Bravo! Thank you. <laughs> and, and you are even not stressed, you are so calm. <laughs> well, let's see.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Bravo. Bravo, Tomo. Thank you.